Peace Informatics, we mean the coming together of the big data community on the one hand and the social science community on the other. And you see that there's many people who want to use the opportunities of big data for humanity. And on the other hand, there is a growing expertise in the field of big data, be it in business and uh, in government. And we want to try to translate that knowledge and to actually use it for peace and justice. The, the key thing to understand is that these technologies allow us to, first of all, measure peace in ways that we've never been able to do it before, at resolutions and precision, and in real time in ways we've never been able to do before. There are certain key terms that we need to be aware of that have tremendous rhetorical value, the word privacy being one. But we need to unpack the specific harms within those terms so that we can take tractable action. So I think the importance of the Peace Informatics Lab is that it gives voice to individuals. Many of the issues right now are being defined by commercial agendas, by government agendas, by security agendas, which are all very, very important. But the voice of the individual continually needs to be upheld and strengthened. What happens to privacy? Do we need to redefine privacy? There are huge challenges uh, in front of us and they're all new challenges and we have decided to work on being a hub here in The Hague to uh, offer a community for peace informatics. It includes on the one hand the opportunities that come with it which we haven't explored. On the other hand the dilemmas that come with it in terms of ethics, in terms of privacy, in terms of data availability. So as we're building the hub for peace informatics here in The Hague, we hope to invite and welcome people from the student community, from the research community, from corporate sector, from policy making community to think with us and actually run concrete projects in the future. That is our mission for the coming months.